have their IQ score in their last name, but, you know, eat their own. Well, up until most recently this evening, I would have said he's one of the good guys. Now, I'm not so sure with I the think, I think pull today. Ooh, again with the hair. I, I don't believe I saw Jesse uh, pull. Uh, Mr. I Edwards don't believe there. that either. And, and Brian Alvarez is trying to plead his case to Latino Blanco as to why he's pulling Jesse's hair. You'd have to talk in Spaniel. Except uh, Spanish, you people who are not bilingual. Bilingual. Yes. And, and how are the ligaments today? They hurt a little bit right now. Those, those guys are kind of painful to work with, you know? Yeah. Oh! Kind of turn the table, grab the hair. Yes, but, you know, Mark Watson's got to break the hold. He's got to break the hold. Everybody saw it. I even saw it, and I got sweat on my sunglasses. Oh, no. And these are gargoyle gold, by the way. This is the clear 18 karat gold. Ah. Keeping the hair, keeping the headlock. Again, but he did it so Mark Watson could see it. No matter what it matters, what the people see, it's what Mark Watson sees. Well, yeah, now we're going. We're going for the top wrist lock. As Brian Alvarez holds the hair to gain the I advantage. might have to go there and beat them both up for doing some people's hair. But they both don't really have very good hair. It's like Brian's hair is kind of confused as to what color it wants to be. Oh, big shoulder tackle there. Uh, nice again. shoulder tackle. Oh. And I'm really getting tired of these guys coming out wrestling in slacks. You know, if they want to go golfing, they can wear slacks and tennis shoes, and they can go run track. This is wrestling. So what you're saying is tight boots. Outfits and idiotic boots. And yes. Dress for the occasion, brother. Dress for the occasion. I got you. That's right. Look as good as, try to look as good as Mr. 80 says. Not possible to try it. Ooh, he gave a little side kick. Yeah, and a little kick. Swinging neck breaker. Nice. That was a flippy neck breaker, by the way. Can be. Flippy neck breaker. Jesse Jr. only been in the ring for about a year. Does hook the leg. Most young guys won't do that. Shoots him off into the corner. Here comes Jesse. Oh, he was going up for... Well, look at that. He's got some hops. Yes, he does. Comes over. Nice arm drag nice by arm Jesse drag. Jr. Brian Howard is going way to that up. Brian Howard's going, hey, what's going on here? Drop kick. Drop kick. Hit him at the middle of the chest. A little elevation wouldn't hurt there. Hey, um, you know what happens, Ken? It's when Moretti was here. Uh-oh. When Moretti was here, he got his sweat all over the ring rope, so that's a little slippery tonight. That, oh, oh, no. Right in the nether regions. In the where? In the nether regions. I see. And tosses them out like yesterday's trash. Which, I yeah, see that with. Well, five minutes on. We see the experience from Brian Alvarez. Brian Alvarez is a veteran, and, and still, whether he's, a, you know, whether he's cheating or not cheating, he's still one of the best technical wrestlers out. I, I don't doubt that. Oh, boy. Runs the spine right into the ring post. Latino Blanco trying to get the crowd going. You know, I think he's just trying to count to four. I don't I don't know. Latino Knocking Blanco. the dust off the mat. Uno, dos, space, and there's something after that. Oh, more top rope theatrics from Brian Alvarez. Boom. Clubs him right across the top of the head for his trouble. Axe handle smash. Yes, that too. Hooks the leg. That's not it. These young guys, these young guys got good recuperating problems. Got what? Recuperating. Oh, that's not what you said the first time. Isn't it? Oh, man. I think that's why you're still sore. I'm still, I think you don't, you yeah. don't have that young recuperating power? I have no recuperating powers, dude. I'm surprised I made it out here. I see. Well, looks like Brian Alvarez is working the back. You pull the back. You pick a body part, and you break it down, and you break the man. The man. If you break him down, you break the man with it. Yeah. Brian Alvarez knows that. Yes, he does, and yes. Does. But now he's taking his time. He's measuring his opponent, I suppose. Being very methodical in his taking and dismemberment of Jesse Jr. Dismemberment. I, I saw that on kind of disgusting. Again. Oh, boy. Backbreaker across the knee. And what this does is it takes these little flying flippy guys, makes them not so flippy when he works that back like that. I see. Two count. Jesse Jr. grabbed the rope to break that count. It looks like he did break the count. Yes, because he did. It was broken. I see. Wow, he's got some messed up here. Sunset flip by Jesse Jr. Brian Alvarez could go down. Brian Alvarez is fighting it, fighting it. And, and down he goes, him. too. And kicks out. He kicked him in the head with his kneecap. Yes, he did. He kneecapped him. Clothesline by Brian Alvarez. You work the back, you work the chest, you work the back, you work the chest. Kind of like we're near the gym. A lot of these guys who, you know, wrestle here don't go to the gym, but I do. And that's what you do. You work chest, back, you do. chest, back. Oh, dude. I've got, they don't need a caliber for the size of guns I have. Don't be looking at my gut. I can't help it. You know, 
know what happens. I see. It doesn't come off as easy as it you know, comes on, you know, brother. I'm yeah. working on it, though. So oh, when well. I come back here next week, I will be 15 pounds lighter. 15 pounds lighter. That's right. I'm going to cut my hair. Yeah. I figured it had to be something like that. Brian, Brian Elbert, going back to work on the back. Right ahead. I'm sorry. I was looking away from you, but... That's all right. And I know you have a cold and you're a little slow tonight, but you're doing a good job anyway, Ken. Well, thank you, Mr. 80s. DC Poison. Thank you. Rider. No, Poison. Oh, dude, that was uncalled for. That was 60s, wasn't it? Dude, that was like 30s. 30s? Yeah. He's doing all right then. Oh, that was the hardest job I've ever seen. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah. Jesse Jr. going back to town. Yeah, but those jobs aren't doing what that one Alvarez did. Into the ropes. In comes Jesse Jr. Right in the kisser. Have a boost. What's that a boost? Oh, Brian Alvarez tried to put his feet on the ropes for that pin. Jesse Jr. was very fortunate that got caught. I know he's kicking out, but I think Mark Watson would have finished the count if he wouldn't have saw it. We don't have the best vantage point. You know, we don't have those cool monitors the other guys have. We might want to get some of those. Well, they got money to throw away. Yeah, they do. Nice belly to back suplex. And after being in that ring, can I tell you, that's, it looks like it's springy, but those boards are coming up hitting you right in the back when you land on them. That's the only way those guys beat me. They didn't beat me. The ring did. The ring beat you. Yeah. Oh. I see. Two yeah. count. I was double teamed, too. Did you see that? I did see that. Did you call that? Yes, I Thank did. You. And sunset flip again. Oh! Brian yeah. Alvarez just punches Jesse Jr. in the mush for it. Ken, you went to the well one too many, many times. times. On the same page. I like we're on the same page. That's a good thing. What page, what page are we on? I don't know. I think we're on page three. Okay, page Ooh, three. Swinging Ouch. side, flippy neck breaker, back breaker, neck breaker thing. Really? That's Ooh, a lot of it. Oh, sharpshooter? What are sharp we doing? Sharpshooter, figure four. This is it's the sharpshooter. Sharp shooter. Oh, that and could that, definitely be that. it. Should He's got to get to the ropes, Cam. That's his only hope. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. He hasn't been in the ring very long. I don't see him having the stamina to hang with this. And, with Brian, this and Brian's got that thing just yeah, he's stuck it's in. It's wrenched in. He's it's wrenched way, in really well. He's got Jesse really Jr. Well. bent yeah. almost in half backwards. There's two dropping the arm. That's and a young guy right there. There we go. He's, he's got, got some got uh, fire in him. Got something in the reserve tank. Got to the road. And made, yeah. Alvarez just gets shot. Oh, no, you can't oh, do that. Here we oh, go. Oh, no, you can't do that for Oh, oh my God. We almost close. had a three count via Mark Watson. Via. 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 La Fia Loco Sese. Really? Hey, what? what's uh, going on here? Okay. I don't know. It's Pancho Villa. Oh, we're, ma Villa. we're making fun of. Pancho Villa. We're making fun of Jesse Jr. Oh no! It's the flying! The Burrito Brothers? And Jesse Jr. moves out of the way. Brian Alvarez showing off to the crowd just a little too much, I think. I, I think it's the differential in the wind when you're wearing the poncho and you try to fly and being not wearing the poncho. So, in this case, he was more like Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Exactly. The wingspan and the geometrical atmosphere when he came off the top rope was way different than what it would have been if he would not have been wearing the geometrical poncho from Mexico. He would have been from Canada, but this is a genuine Mexican poncho. Well, well there is poncho. a breeze in here, but I was thinking it was pretty hot air, you know? Yeah. Nice back body drop by Jesse Jr. Off the ropes, drops the leg, drops big leg. Brian Alvarez. Drops the leg, yeah, and then he's gonna be enough. Planted that right on the chin. Grabs the leg, rolls him up. That's, that's it. 